Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome to Manticore Galaxy on Fire. Special thanks to uh, Deep Silver for providing a copy for this game. And this is a sci fi shoot 'em up, like space dogfight type thing. And well, the controller's moving Ooh, back and forth. Yes. Probably motion controls. <laughs> yeah, it, has, it looks like it has some motion controls. So I'm really excited because Luke knows I love sci fi. So I'm ready to jump into this. Welcome to Neox. Sci-fi's fun. Whoa! Checking your navigation systems calibration. Yep. Ooh, it's this is cool. Detected. Distress signal deployed. Whoa! Whoa! Alive. Somebody's Warning. after you. Systems failing. Help it's all fun in games. Good luck. How do I attack? It's all fun and games until an asteroid bashes into the side of your ship. Oh, they're okay. We have weapons free. Oh, they're not letting us do anything. <laughs> there you are. Indigo Brink doesn't take too kindly to heroes. So reflect on your mistakes while we blow you to pieces. Nice guy. I spotted the pirates first. I, I know. Have marked them. They are mine. You bet. Have fun. I'll watch your six. Manticore Mercs. The boss pays double for him. Wait, what's going on? My controls. Rock, my ship's going haywire. I hacked their nav systems. You are stealing my prey. Oh, shut it, Kirk. I was fine letting you play strong warrior whatevers until I saw the stranded pilot here. Hey there, boss. Your engine is running, but all other systems are down. Follow us and I can get that ship patched up. Bringing in another of your lost strays. Kirk, those pirates were after them. We can't just leave them out here. This is cool. Mm -hmm. I didn't really get to do anything, though. This game already looks better than, uh... I'm Saya, and this is... You have already said my name. Kirk, he's really quite pleasant in his own way. Let's test your controls. Left, right, and so on. Cool tutorial so far. Mm -hmm. All right, so the this joystick the on the other side is my throttle. You want to call it. Fly to it. Great. Your nav system seems mostly okay. All right, boss. I just started up your boost system. Awesome. See the energy bar? Using the boost depletes it temporarily. It regenerates and you can boost again. Do you see this mighty carrier? That's the Manticore. The Manticore is the best Merc carrier in the Neox sector. We're always looking for talented pilots. You should talk to Bryce. Anyone Indigo Brink doesn't like, he'll probably hire. So mm. we're like a mercenary squadron. That's cool. Yeah, it is, actually. I like this story already. I'm Commander Bryce Vantock, and this is my ship, the Manticore. Our skills are for hire. There's a lot of money to be made out here. If you're good with that, you're welcome to prove your worth. That's Bryce's way of saying, glad to have you on board. A lot of important people rendezvous at a conference discussing the future of Neox. Terrans, Navillians, Starfire, everyone. That means a lot of security is required. Okay, so who do I... Oh, that guy looks like John Jones over I there. I know, he does. Hey, a boss. Welcome to the hangar. Your AI's busted, but the ship is fixed. Cool. Let's do a mission then. Want to go shoot some pirates? Yeah. You can barrel roll to evade enemies. This is kind of cool. Guys, check out Manticore. Yeah, definitely. Galaxy on fire for the Nintendo Switch. Um, Still waiting for it to load. Move the right stick to boost, mm -hmm. but yeah, you already knew that. Just want to know how to fight back and blow stuff up. Easy there, tiger. Then I should have enough lightning bolt energy to do one episode of Marvel something, I don't know. Close to unlocking that one character, but that's it. Act 1. The Shattering. 
Dun, dun, dun. Sci-fi games are always so much fun. They have some interesting stories, too. Yep. Most of the big players are here. Nova Defense, Sentinel. They're providing security for this conference. The Terrans, Vosk, Starfire, the Navillians. Everyone is gathering to talk about the Neox Sector. Everyone wants Glow, but they're trying to work it out so no one starts a war. That's always good. Mm -hmm. You'll be escorting Alexander Torque Turrington, Terran Federation rep for the conference. That's me. I'm traveling in secret to the conference. The Indigo Brink pirates have been after what I'm transporting. There they are. It's not Indigo Brink. Who is that? Make sure to keep them off me. I'll do my best. I still don't know how to fire. Yeah, they didn't cover that in the tutorial. No, they just covered how to go fast. They're like, how do you fly forward? Okay, you're done. That's the tutorial. It's like, uh... I mean, so controls are a little different, but... They just found you out there floating in space after you got attacked, I guess. I don't even know how to slow down, though. Oh, just pull back on the throttle. Did that's, I get it? I got somebody! Ooh. I got one! <laughs> that's great, kid. Don't get cocky. Woohoo! Barrel rolls, son! <laughs> yeah! Got a game with barrel rolls. Minimal damage sustained. Aw, no more? That's it? I can wait too quick. They were Gregaf pirates. Ah, uh, them. They've been a real nuisance lately. Distress calls are coming in from the conference. That's too short. You more explosions. Of course! What's going on? Kids, stick close to that ship. Oh, we're being torn apart! I've never seen an explosion like this! Pilots! Pilots, come in! I think somebody just started a war. Okay. Most of my pilots aren't responding. Oh no. We're okay here. Yeah. But I'm getting messages about casualties. It's bad. The planet. Look what happened to the planet. What? Whoa. The shattering. I need to head back to HQ. Kid, he should be fine for a bit. See what you can find. Do I shoot it? I would. I don't know. It's just death out there. The Bosk. There are so many burnt out ships. We've got company. Looks like Gurgath pirates. How did they survive? That doesn't matter now. Fight them off. Where are the pirates? Oh, the red triangles. Roger that. Whoa! At your nine, or whatever. I actually learned that from Vic because I didn't know. And you. You guys were talking about watch your six, and I was like, I don't even know what that means. But that's like, watch your back. This is... Correct. This is kind of fun. I mean, it's. I still would like to know how to use, like, secondary weapons and stuff like that. Uh oh. Wait. Oh, okay. That was me doing a barrel roll. I was like, I got somebody on my tail. Nope. Alright, so pull back on the throttle, and. I don't know. Tracking your prey easier. Boost, dodge, shoot, destroy. These are the skills of a great hunter. Okay. That guy seems nice. Well, he survived. Mm -hmm. Gurgath. Gurgath pirate. Grath. Yeah. There. That ship. It has the markings of a Gurgath pirate. Take him down, kid. I want answers. Wait. If but we take if him we down, take him down how, how will we get answers? That doesn't make much sense. I want answers. Is this an interrogation? I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot pieces of your ship till you tell me. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I'm gonna just I guess that worked. Oops. Good work. Scanning what's left of his flight computer. Greetings, organics. I am Jalen, advanced AI of Epicac Design. What can you tell us about the Gurgath? Pirates, run by a Vosk female, Shigal. Shigal. If she was responsible for this. That guy looks like a really cool old do Santa. What you need to do, Bryce. I have to get back to HQ. The Terran Federation is in disarray. 
Everyone is panicking. A lot of people are dead, kid. Good men and women. People I flew with for a long time. You seem broken up about it. Through this data, figure out a plan, find Chagall. Bring it back home, kid. So is my crew gone? Rank up. Yay, mission complete. I mean, the gameplay is pretty solid, but the story is what has me interested. Kid, you've proven your worth. And I lost most of my other pilots. I need you to fly point for a while. Seems people are already calling this disaster the shattering. Saying it was a mining accident. I don't buy it. At least Indigo Brink. Those bastards were wiped out in the disaster. They deserve nothing less after what happened to Haley. If we're gonna catch up with Chagall and her Gagath pirates, we need to keep active. Jalen, the AI we found, helped us to create this layout of the Gagath gang. Let's have a look. So, are they alive or are they dead? They just didn't bother to update this? Uh, I mean, okay. Maybe those pilots weren't lost? Jalen, in your ship's computer, Isaiah tells me your old AI is fried. I look forward to you exploding, much like my former owner, Organic. Wow, thank you. Uh, what? She looks forward to us blowing up, apparently. Why? Well, we can't upgrade our ship or do anything yet, so... Just These go back out into space. Well, this looks promising. Kid, I normally wouldn't send you on a mission this important. But most of my other pilots are dead. Don't screw it up. I Starfire plan on not. Starfire having trouble with some pirates that call themselves... Gregath. Apparently it's Vosk, or hate. It's interrupted their glow mining operation. So Martha Penbury here, a Starfire rep, hired us as an escort. Bryce, I keep telling you, call me Mary. We just need a watchdog till we hit the gate. Stay close and we'll look after each other. She doesn't look like Starfire. <laughs> uh. Oh wait, I have wingmen. Now. Keep them off us if you can. Okay. Hey, it's literally wingmen, yeah. How do I control said wingmen? I can't. But I can do barrel rolls. Do a barrel roll! Can't tell which deck. Can you scan it for us? Fly nope, in. busy. What? We don't have time to scan it. Okay, thank you, Miss Organic. Wow, that she is so mean, that robot. I'm gonna, trying to scan it! You're gonna win because the enemy is trash? That should be my positive, motivational thing that I say to myself every day. I have no idea how to scan I that. I don't know. They didn't tell me just, how to... I'll just... We'll deal with the ships first, and then we'll worry about scanning. Every robot wants to rule the world. I really believe they do. I mean, <laughs> the minute Skynet happens, I'm moving to the moon. We're moving. We'll be like one of the first settlers on the moon. I have a better chance of survival up there than against robots taking over the world. Wait, didn't people settle the moon in a Gundam thing, or no? Yep. Worked out pretty well. Actually, I mean, they say there is some atmosphere on the moon. There you go. Some people say you could even make a dome there and grow food and then make plants and, like, you could actually make more oxygen on there and stuff. Am I supposed to... How do I scan this thing? What's the scan button? We've been I don't trained. know! Touched up. Let's get moving. Not what did I do? So You're the new kid with Manticore, right? Refrain from overcomplimenting my pilot. It may result in hotshot antics. Strange Yay, hotshot guy! Oh, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> the hot shot. AI has a mouth on it. I like it. I know. This is fun. But, well, that's what that lady said. But yes, it does. <laughs> Watch out. I'm good. Yeah, this is really cool. Like we have Why did they have bridge. motion controls Can you help before? Us out again? I don't know. The title Maybe. screen had motion controls. So the title kind of screen weird. had motion controls, but the, the rest game of the doesn't, game doesn't. No. Unless you have to enable it. What am I supposed to be doing? Oh. I guess this is scanning it. More company. Oh. All I'm doing is just slowing down. This oh, whatever. More damage. Find the breach for us. I don't know. I don't know what a breach is. 
Like, we're... We'll try pushing every button, or we'll try not to hit them, though. Yeah, I wish that the lasers think, would go like... Beep, 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 beep. I think oh. you're looking for a giant scat, a wound in the ship, like a giant wound. So the computer okay. stuff happens when I get close? We should be good to go. Are, are we good to go? Predicted performance levels, but only by 10%. Don't listen to that AI. You're looking good out there. She's a mean robot. Yeah, she is. Because it, Oh, he looks fun. Yeah. Humans need encouragement. Ignore I need encouragement. Listen to me. If you die, I die. My sensors show that Varus has flash grenades equipped. You might want to shield your eyes, or you might die blind. A new escort, huh? It'll go the same. Surrender the loot and maybe you won't be destroyed. Huh? The virus tanks and leaving the Gregarth raids. Show that pirate scum what we do to their kind. Don't be cocky, pilot. You are still new. Fly with caution. Man, you have a lot of people shouting at you at once. I know! It's hard for me to it's do like, my job. <laughs> it's like, it's not really helping. Remind me to complain with space manpower. I know, you should you should definitely lodge a complaint with them. There's more than one of these fools. Yep. That's it. Well, I think you're doing pretty well. I mean, this is your first time playing this game. Yeah, that's your typical flight sim thing. I'm pretty good at those. Watch me blow up now. Barrel roll! You I like didn't... that barrel roll is a button. It's great. Yeah, it is. Okay, we got so many of these fools. Take them down. Oh. I wish I could tell my wingmen what to do, though. It's oh, always cool to see a totally new sci-fi game. I remember we did that, well, the other sci-fi, last sci-fi thing we did was Valerian. But that was more like a um, colonizing thing. This is cool. This is dog fighting and stuff. Me up good. But Drek, Drek will pay you back better than what I got. Pilot, my assessment of your skills was incorrect. I will readjust. <sighs> good job, kid. Martha, who's this Drak? You'll never call me Mary, will you? Drak is a mid-level Gregarth thug. Uses signal jammers. Makes it hard to lock on in a fight. Known to run glow-infused explosives. Want the job hunting him down? Glow-infused explosions? Maybe he knows something about the shattering. We'll look into it. So, the girl's name is Mary, but he calls her Martha? Why did you say that name? Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, she should say, why did you say that name? I mean... With blueprints, I know how to build pretty much everything. I like blueprints. Make my ship cooler. Manticore's hangar, a sight to behold. And the smell. Oh, the smell of ultra-high temperature resistant oil. Gotta love it. Is she being sarcastic or she really likes the smell? I think Let's she's crazy. Primary weapon. I yes. Think, I think she enjoys the smell. It happens to selecting people who really like... Selecting works the same as selecting a ship. Spin the wheel until you bring it to the front. Let's choose what? the new blueprint. Okay. It's like, I thought people who are mechanics and stuff, they get used to the smell of oil and stuff, and they like actually like it because they like working in cars or something. Is that it? Is that all, all we had to do? Sector, you can never stop learning. <laughs> okay, we'll go here. Sorry. Going after that ugly guy. Sounds like fun. Launch my ship? No. Always preying on the weak. If he shows his face, put him down, kid. Time to bust some ugly aliens. Yep. Aliens are always ugly. That's why they have to die. The Terran military hired Nova Defense for added protection. <laughs> Nova Defense is stretched thin, so we hired you. Don't rub it in, Bryce. No one's very happy about this. Everyone is grasping at straws after the shattering. Kid, this is Tulsa Dine. She's our Nova defense contact. She's even decent at her job. Look, 
The Gragas pirates are starving this outpost. I need you to escort these supply ships. Listen to the lady and watch your six, kid. All right, so it's an escort mission again. For the pirate Reed Sladek. Nasty piece of work. Starving the outpost for fun. Organics do such odd things. Starvation is a boring death. Explosions are where it's at. There's a wing coming in. How do I use my secondary weapon now, though? Um, I don't know. But I was totally joking about aliens dying because they're not they're not fabulous looking. It's because they're mean! It's a sci-fi game, Amber, relax. I'm just joking. <gasps> people all, nobody gets when I'm joking, so I feel like I have to clarify. Alright, this is really hard to fly upside down. Uh... Alright, that's not a scanny thing. Whoa! Uh, How do I use a different weapon? Uh, Whoa! What's that? You're switching weapons now. Yeah, it's because of that upgrade. You're doing pretty well, rookie. Good job, tiger. Looks well, like a shotgun. Yep. A space shotgun. I'll stick with the basic laser for now. Scratch three. Cargo load successful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, these space pirates are really taking a toll on civilization. Taking a toll on ugly. Not cool at all. I kind of want to see what this plasma burst thing does. Okay, do your thing. Oh! Sorry. Sorry, I was uh, admiring the new weapon. Yeah, totally. Alright, it stinks. Can't tell what I did, but I, I guess it worked. I don't know. Yeah, I'm trying to not say anything mean about Star Wars games, but this is actually pretty exciting compared to... This is a really cool game for the Switch. Like, mm -hmm. Deep Silver did a great job getting this on the system. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, it reminds me of... People probably don't remember half of these old sci-fi games, but there was a great PC franchise called Wing Commander when I was, oh. like, a little kid. And it was kind of an early CD-ROM game, so it had, like... 3D graphics, and it had voice acting. Mark Hamill was uh, one of the main characters. Oh, wow. Yep. That's cool. Which I'm surprised he hasn't tried to make a movie on that. Oh, Wing Commander. Yep. They did make a Wing Commander movie, but they didn't have his main character in it. They're launching some kind of glow-infused mine. What? Oh, that's... Whoa! Whoa, that was intense. What? What is... What do I need to break? I'm, I'm new to all this. I'm still rookie. My AI isn't telling me squat. Yeah, your AI is not helping. I don't see any red dots either. Where are they? Maybe if you use the magic word and ask her, please help. AI, please tell me what's going on. <laughs> she still didn't even respond to the magic word. Whoa! That's a cool weapon. Cargo loaded. Alright, I'm ready when you are. I'm trying to escort the cargo. They're just sitting there. They're not doing nothing. Oh, they're moving. Wait, somebody's moving. On my way. Boom, baby. Yeah, that's satisfying. Oh, wait, sorry. Wrong, wrong person. Mm, totally. Okay, this new gun is slick. I might not like the design of it, but its purpose is pretty sick. Mm hmm. You won't get away. Later, loser. Later. <gasps> Whoa. Those that would kind of stink to uh, run into a person you're trying. Wait, weren't there Wait. three cargo ships? Uh. Did I? I may have let maybe, one be blown up. Maybe one of them got through. But why didn't they say, we're under attack? I know. They, they're supposed to give you a choice. So this cargo is being loaded. So maybe there's one of them is. Blown. But usually in Rogue Squadron, they would tell me when they're about to die. Be like, danger! They're not really communicating well with... It's hard for me to understand what's going on with Miss, the escort stuff. Well, you know, Luke, this is more realistic because in space... No one can hear you scream. Apparently they can't hear each other through comms, either. 
Yeah, I know. You should be able to hear This is the part of the game where I would put a budget in to have voice actors tell you what's going on, because... It's kind of distracting. Like, it's hard for me to know... I know what I'm supposed to do, but... Like, I don't know if I'm doing it properly. It's all kind of a guessing game! Yeah, Ooh. well, I mean... Yeah, I mean, you would be used to communication with your commander telling you what to do and... Yeah, like, I, that's what I loved about Rogue Squadron. They'd be like, Commander, we can't take these ties! <laughs> At least yeah. you knew that you were failing. Yeah, and then you had a hint. Yeah. Boss battle. Oh, that's that's a lovely guy. Reed Sladek. Reed Sladek has a reinforced butt shield for his ship's butt. You cannot cause damage on the butt when the butt shield's active. What the grok is this? Nova defense growing some balls. Reed, you bastard. Your pirate in Korea is here. I'll use the bones of your friends to pick my teeth. <laughs> Wow, nice guy. Defense, maybe, but we're yeah. Show him what that means, kid. Trying to, but he has a shield on his butt. Ow. But is he behind me? I don't know. You little punk. He is. Hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. You couldn't really hear your commander talk, but then you can hear the enemy talk. I never get how the enemy is able to talk to you. Yeah, though. he has a butt shield. <laughs> Why can't I have a missile? But even in Star Fox, the enemy talks to you, and I'm thinking, how do they get onto your transmission? Well, in Star Fox, they'd be like, bruh, 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 bruh. That was before, the, you know, they had voice acting. Oh, yeah. Dip, 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 dip. Oh, my gosh. Bruh, 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 bruh. I, I totally forgot about that, Luke. Yeah, that's how voice acting happened. It was sound effects originally. That's fascinating. Isn't it? Already, this game is better than Star Fox Zero, though. Wait. In the first Star Fox game, did they say do a barrel roll or no? Oh my gosh, it just had text? Yeah. Do a barrel roll wasn't until uh, Star Fox 64, if I remember correctly. Oh. Guys, this loser. Take him down. Wait, how many Star Fox games came out before? What? The 64 one. Just Star Fox. Star Fox uh. 2 got cancelled and wasn't released until recently. On the Super Nintendo uh, Classic Edition. I see. It was finished, but they never released it because they began work on Star Fox 64, which we all know was much, much better. Yep. I really like the... Well, I mean, I know colors, hey. whatever, but I like how the red planet and the red, um, like, iron and stuff contrasts with the blue, you know, Man, and stuff. Like Usually it's I take very, enemies down from behind. This reminds me of, like, a, that Guardians of the Galaxy uh, sky. It's really pretty. It's really cool looking. We haven't heard him at all, have we? That's his shield gauge. It'd be great if we could mm -hmm. take out his shield by just attacking him. Like, let yeah. me know. Keep an eye on that gauge up there and tell me if his shield gauge is depleting at all. Okay. Did you shit hit him? Oh, I hit him, yeah. All right, yeah, it's it's depleting, the shield gauges. Okay, so we'll the take out... The blue bar is going down every time you shot him. All right, we're going to take out a shield first, and then once the shield's gone, then we'll take him out. That's the plan, anyway. This takes a little bit longer than um, some of the other, like, uh, combat sim games, like, like combat dogfights, but it's really fun. I mean, I would like the option of more weapons and stuff like that, but for what this game is, I mean... It takes a little getting used to, but it's not bad. Mm -hmm. Especially for the price. It's really not that bad. That's cool. Yeah, it looks really cool. I love the visuals. And yeah, the only thing I wish is that they talk to you a little bit more in the intercom. It's already better than No Man's Sky. This is what it's I true. wanted from No Man's Sky. I wanted, like, combat. Instead, you just explore planets and junk. It's, like, lame. People want to shoot stuff in space. Come on. Whoops. It's already better than the story of episode one of Star Wars. Everything's better than episode one of Star Wars. Yep. I can even point you to some animes that are better than Star Wars as a whole. Mm, yeah, I, well, animes have amazing stories to them. <sighs> this is taking so long. Let's I, go down already. I'm I know one, one anime that's one million times better than Star Wars. Gundam. Gundam's pretty cool, but depends on the Gundam series. Everything depends on the series. Come on! 
He Man, he is being so feisty. Well, he has a butt shield. I wish he would taunt us more. It would make this more exciting. That was what was yeah. great about Star Fox, is people would be like, Is that the best you can do, Fox? <laughs> Yes, if you're taunted, then it spurs you onward. You're like, I'm gonna show this guy! I can do better. I'm like, right on his tail, but... Alright, he's almost done. There we go. Come on, kid. Finally. Feast on your flesh. He will swallow you on. We've already got Drac in our sights. Looks like the contract's complete, Tulsa. Why isn't he blowing up? And then some. Hey, Bryce. Most of Nova Defense isn't your biggest fan, but you're okay in my book. If you're going after Drac, we found that the rig he's using is weak to laser weapons. Thanks, Tulsa. Kid, head home. I'm gonna follow some leads on Drac. I like finding my enemies before they find me. <laughs> cool. Cool teeth guy. Cool teeth guy busted. Rank three! Takes a while to level up, but this is fun. I really do like this. Me too. Pilot, let's start searching for secrets here. I don't want to search for secrets. Ah, it's searching your room. I need to dock. All right, something happened to the voice acting now. Yeah. Incoming oh. system wide message. I can return to the thing at any time. How do I return? Salutations, New York Sector. I am Eclipse, leader of the Cobalt Lancers. We are a new space defense force. Considering the tragedy of the shattering, we're offering our services at a discounted rate. These trying times, we must all stand together against the tyranny of pirates. The Cobalt Lancers are here to help. Message end. Cute. Hiding a sales pitch is philanthropy. Space Defense Force? Call a thing what it is. We're mercs. You pay, we shoot. <sighs> Maybe I'm jealous. The Cobalt Lancers are underpricing Manticore out of business. Hope you work out as my lead pilot, kid. Something going right would be a nice change of pace. Alright, you guys done? Okay, so... Uh, I actually don't know how to go back to my ship, guys and gals. But um, that is going to do it for our look at uh, this game. I hope you Yay! guys will check out Manticore Galaxy on Fire for the Nintendo Switch. Thanks again to Deep Silver for uh, sending a copy of this game. Mm -hmm. And I really like it. There are things Me I too. wish was a little bit better about it, but combat is solid i love the story and i would like to keep playing if you guys want to see more of this please let us know and we'll be sure to make another episode till we meet again god bless and happy gaming see